Hello and welcome back to the show. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show because usually we live in a world where musicians and entertainers have been celebrated, celebrated, but here on our show, it's such a privilege and an honor to be celebrating the leaders of tomorrow. It's not Children's Day yet, but we have people who will make you wish it is Children's Day. For at my far right, I have Weiss. I have Weiss Edgy Eber from Green Spring School. Thank you for joining us, Weiss. Thank you. And I have um, on my immediate right, Chidera and Akwa. Thank you for joining us. And both of you were participants at the South Africa Mathematics Competition, right? Yes. Okay, so let's start from you, Wise. I have three of your awards here, but before I get to your awards, let's talk about the competition. Did you have to start here in Nigeria? What was the process? Did you do a competition the, first? What was the road to the competition? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there are three rounds to the competition. In the first round, it's school organized, and then it's out of 20. Okay. So, if, when you get higher than 50% in that round of all the questions, you move on to the second round. In the second round, it's on the people that qualified from the first round move on, yes. And then it's also out of 20. Okay. But they multiply each one by a certain mark to give you 100 overall. And then the top 100 learners move on to the last round. And all this is in the same school, like within your school? Yes, the first and second is okay. in our school. Okay. Well, in the last round, we moved to South Africa to write the last part of the exam. Okay. And then it's the top 100 learners that have done um, the first and second rounds that move on to the last round. Okay. Yeah. And these top 100 learners, are they from your school or from different schools? From every school that participated from Africa. Oh, great. Well, great. that's quite a lot. Um, Chidera, how was the experience? And um, have you always loved mathematics, or how did you um, develop your skills in mathematics? Was it from school, or did you? Was it your teachers? What, what was responsible for this? The experience was great because mm. I didn't really like math at when I was younger. Uh, really, at what age did you start liking math? <laughs> It was the last session. Okay. So last was session, packed, just was here. Packed, yeah. And then you got to travel <laughs> wow. all the way to South Africa, and you came back uh, with a word. So tell us about what sparked your interest in mathematics, because there's so many people out there that even adults... That don't like that maths. Particularly my YEC maths was disastrous. And, um, yes. But thank God for Neko. So the, I, I mean, <laughs> your story is inspirational. It means there's always hope, or you could change from not... Uh, liking mathematics to somebody that likes mathematics. So what was instrumental in the change? After every exam or test, okay. I like to like, compare my scores with other students. So if I feel like, if I feel that I, this, someone is not meant to get higher than me, mm -hmm. I'll then practice harder to okay. pass the person. Practice harder on your own or with the help of a teacher? Mostly on my own. Nice. But some teachers help. Teachers help if you ask mm. them to help you. Okay, sorry, how old are you both? I'm 14. Yes. Mm. Are you how old? 14. You're both 14? Like, yes. I think we're the same month even. Yeah, we're same are you month. serious? Yeah. Yeah. Which month are you? August is five days older than me. Yeah. Five, five days older. Five days August, what are you? 25th. And you are August? We are yeah, three days older than me. I'm August 28. <laughs> 28. Mm -hmm. Three days older than each other, your age mates, and now your winners. So if you want to have good mathematicians, make sure they're born in August. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, I, I right here, I have very interesting awards. Um, this is Wise A.G. Ebal, Green Spring School, best learner from outside South Africa Junior Division. Um, we have here Wise as well, runner-up Junior Division, and we also have here best performing African learner. Junior division. So wow, let me so talk to you, Wise. This is like three awards in one. Mm -hmm. At the point when you found out that you had gotten this, oh, and then we have two awards on our table as well. When you found out that you had gotten this, what was the first thing that came to your mind? I was happy, very happy. And yeah. uh, when you were leaving Nigeria, did you think you were going to come back with any awards, or what? What, frame, what was in your mind? Um, the silver medals go to the top ten. Okay. Gold goes to the first. Silver top ten and bronze remaining hundred that was okay. in the final round. So 
they had already listed my name as part of the top ten. So I already knew I was coming off with either silver or gold. Okay. So so you, I, yeah. and eventually you came back with what? Silver. So that means you're top 10. Out of how many people wrote this exam again? 85,000. 85,000? Were you the only two from Nigeria? No. no. There were seven yes. in the junior category. Okay. That's, we we're both in junior. And then one in the senior category. Okay. Okay. Um, Chidera, I think Venga wants to ask you something. Yes. Um, now that you've liked mathematics and you've uh, taken... Uh, you've done very well representing Nigeria and of course uh, your school Green Springs what's the next step have you figured out what you want to uh, do in future yes I have uh, what would you like to be I want to be a software engineer Okay, hey. fantastic and uh, you have the best foundation uh, you need mathematics is very crucial in sciences and engineering and you white um I actually want to be a cardiac surgeon or a data analyst, but I might design softwares and things like that as a hobby or, yeah. Fantastic. Wow, these children and are probably the future. Mean, I, I probably make a few millions on the side. I know, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, before we let you go, I want to find out what role your parents had in this. Um, what, where, where you, like growing up for me, I was a terrible mathematician growing up. Okay, yeah, my initial part I was good on, so later secondary, but I remember my father used to force me to learn my multiplication times table and I would just go there and keep reciting and everything. Same here. So I'm curious, oh, you too, I'm curious, what roles did your parents have? Let's start with Uchidera. In terms of your learning mathematics, were they instrumental or you're your loving mathematics? What roles did they have? My parents, they bought like a lot of mathematical textbooks. Or, like we have like, mm -hmm. like a library at home full of books. So I just picked out if like one or two textbooks and start practicing from it. They don't like give you text um, tests and say, you know, Chidera, come here, uh, you need to do this first, and then mm -hmm. they get to know. Like, do they give you tests by themselves? No. Oh. Okay, but it's fair enough that they gave you a huge library, they equipped tools. you. All right, and, and you? Um, my parents, ever since I was like a little child, they always pushed me to do good in all my subjects, actually. I don't think it's only math I'm good at. Hmm. But those mathematics, what, what's your favorite subject, by the way? It's actually math, because okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I, like, math is fun. Cause, wow. Yeah. yeah, so I heard, I heard, because uh, it's fun, because you don't have to cram things, and uh, you, you can actually score 100 out of 100. You can score perfect. So math is fun, and I'm curious, do you enjoy any other subjects as much as you enjoy, almost as much as you enjoy math? Oh, I enjoy all sciences. I enjoy, but biology is like my least favorite, but I like physics and chemistry. Um, Fikemba. Fantastic. I still like biology and I like ICT, basically all the subjects. I even like English. Interesting, Great. are you? So, Mine is math, physics, and ICT. Uh, great. So finally, before we let you go, what's your advice to uh, young Nigerians out there that are looking up to you or having difficulties Wait in on. mathematics, with mathematics? Oh, do you have any words of encouragement for them? Yes, let's start with you, There are People who are watching and think, I don't like mathematics at all. They should find their weak point. Like, they should challenge themselves with their friends. Mm. Like, if you have a friend that's already... Is, like you think that it's more than you. Try to be to associate yourself yeah, with, the person. Associate with the person and finally Don't be shy to ask for help. Exactly. Yes. And finally just generate all the knowledge that you have from your teachers and from your friend and combine it and then you may even pass your friend. Interesting. Very true. Thank you very like much. Uh, Ever wise. Um if you want to get better at math, it actually not like in math is actually based on the problems you solve. If you solve interesting problems that are difficult, but you still can solve them, you tend to like the subject better. So you just need to solve more interesting subjects, um, sorry, more interesting problems, mm. and you also need to work harder at it and never give up 
until you find the right answer. Perfect. Well, Thank you well so said. much. Very, very well it's said. It's been a pleasure having uh, the winners of uh, representing Nigeria. You guys are worthy ambassadors, and uh, we wish you all the best. Very true in indeed. Your future. And if you're watching them and you're having challenges, if they can do it, you yes. can too. Shout out to their teachers, their principal, the parents, and everyone who was a part of this success. Thank you so much for making us proud. All right, we're going to a quick break. When we come back, we have sports. Please stay with us. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.